Hi guys, how refreshing is to play a game of chess before we begin our videos today? Now, one of the things that we can do is to train our own models for playing chess using reinforcement learning we can actually train our own models and that will help you win chess games and this is what AlphaGo did and this is what so many different algorithms that we see in this age are so we have So let's start the video uh, that we were planning and what I want to talk about is this. So we can see that this robot fails to stand on one leg and it's an utter failure until we go ahead and do reinforcement learning and you can see that it is now pretty well able to stand and you can see the forces of the body is shown on the error so if you think of yourself of how we stand on one leg so we need to adjust our forces on the leg so what I am diverting you is this so Unsloth has really able to uh, achieve the aha moment of R10 which was a moment when the large language model thought for itself so there is another way of doing this I could even do this so such kind of thoughts was not inbuilt but rather they used something known as group related policy optimization GRPO that is basically the model generates different outputs and each of these outputs is rated towards re receiving or going towards a particular goal and whichever of the output goes or is closer towards the goal is given more weight and the subsequent generation progresses towards that state of the output now indeed it was uh, again a tiny zero which demonstrated that we could achieve the aha moments uh, with Quen 2.51 billion parameter as well but they required uh, 160 GB GPU or two numbers of 800 GPUs but with Unsloth and today we're going to see uh, on a free Google Collab notebook you can achieve this aha moment with just a single 7 GB VRAM GPU now we are going to test out this model so uh, under using old unsloth you can transform any model within 15 gb vram and you can turn that model for example llama 3.18 billion 5414 billion mistral 7 billion or quen 2.57 billion you can turn that into a reasoning model it's not a distillation process it's not a distillation process rather it is a, it is converting a normal model into a thinking model using reinforcement learning using what we say grpo so this is an example you can see that 54 with no reasoning we can see that uh, it's 9.11 is bigger than 9.9 .9. and you can see that after all these comparisons of the 10th place of the ones place and the hundred place it was able to give a pretty big wrong answer so 9.11 is bigger than 9.9 .9 but if we incorporate the thinking process the reasoning process we see that after all the comparison of the units the tens and hundred place then when it compared the hundred place it says that one is greater than zero uh, where we have 9.11 so the second one and here 9.90 even though one is greater than the zero it doesn't matter because we have the tens place that determines which number is greater so given more time and given more uh, reasoning abilities we can see that it's giving correct answer 
as compared to the non-reasoning one. So this is an example of 5.4. We converted a raw 5.4 model into a reasoning model. So they have published the notebooks. Uh, we can go ahead and take a look at the notebook. But this is how you can experience your own or create your own reasoning models with Unsloth. So let's go to the Google notebook. So we have this. So I'm on my Google notebook, a free collab notebook. Need to connect to the GPU version of that. So we have change runtime. So you can you need to go to T4 GPU here and then you can do all this magic. So first and foremost, we are going to install um, Unsloth and install Pillow. Then we are going to use the fast language model library from Unsloth. We're going to use fast language model. Then we load the model and the tokenizer using the fast language model. We load this model, Metalama, Metalama 3.18 billion instruct. And we load it in 4-bit. We activate the fast inference. And uh, the max LoRa rank is 32 here. Then we change the model to a PEFT model, so parameter efficient fine tuning model. And we're using the LoRa rank of 32 here. So these are the target modules that are going to target. So when we say LoRa, we target only a few modules or a few layers. And these are the layers that we are targeting. So after that, we change the model. Now the model is in the PEFT format, which and when we train something, when we train the model, it is going to train only these uh, layers that we see here. So when we run this, it goes ahead and downloads the model and get it or uh, get it ready. So next we need uh, the data sets. Uh, so from data sets, we import the load data set. And this is the system prompt. So our system prompt will be reasoning, reasoning here, answer, answer. And this is XML COD format. So chain of thought format. So the reasoning here, actual reasoning here. And these are the text and the actual answer here. So this function extract XML answer, this extracts the answer. So if we have the text from the text, we split it uh, by the answer tag. And you can you take the last one, we take the second one. And from that again, we take the first one. So again, the answer is revealed here after running through this. And then we extract the answer after this. So anything, uh, if we have this symbol of um, hash four hashes, then whatever that comes after four hashes is taken as the output here. So this is for extraction of the answer. Now, this is for converting the uh, data set to a particular format. So we have, uh, we are using the OpenAI GSM 8K data set. And in that data set, we are using that data set in this format. So we are mapping everything and using in this format. So role system content is a system prompt that we fix. Then role user content is the question that we get from the data set. And then answer is the extract has answer from the data that we see here. And that is the answer here. So we are changing uh, the data set because we want to train it accordingly. Now in every uh, machine learning uh, reinforcement learning process, uh, we need reward functions. We need to say to the model that this is something which we like or this is your target. So for fixing the target and maintaining some rewards, we have come up with different reward functions here. Now these reward functions are not fixed. You can tweak it, but this is what Unsloth has come up with. So ultimately the correctness of the reward function, if it is close to the answers, then we give it a two. If our R is equal to A, else we give zero. Then if it's a proper completion, we give it 0.5, else we put it zero. Proper completion means the answer returns in a digit. So we're expecting a math answer in a digit. If if it's a digit, then we get we give it 0.5. Right or wrong is a different thing, but 
whenever we get a digit as the answer, we put in 0.5. So these are different reward functions. So a strict format, if the format is correct, then we give in 0.5. If again, the format is correct, if the soft format is correct, we give it this. And the first one was the exact correct answer. If the answer matches exactly, then we give two points, otherwise zero. Then we uh, count uh, the total number of what it received. If 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 we, it has reasoning here, if it has reasoning, answer, answer, if the tags are proper, then we give it plus points. And if the tags are not proper, we deduct um, the count. So ultimately we get a score based on the tags that it has used because we want it to use the reasoning tags and the answer tags. Then the final is the XML total count, so counting everything. So these are the reward function you can create your own. But ultimately, this is the trainer that you're going to be using of uh, TRL import grpo config. And you can see that these are all the hyperparameters that you can change. So hyperparameters, the thing that I've changed was it was 250 here. So I changed to 25. So so as to run this faster. And this is the learning rate. We need to keep a pretty low running rate. So uh, that will help us to train the models better then uh, this is the output folder where this is going to save now when we run uh, this one so this is a trainer here and these are the reward functions so the trainer the gpro trainer needs reward functions because it is trying to maximize or it is trying to go towards or increase the rewards so it needs the reward function so as to increase its score to or work towards increasing that reward function so these reward functions that we see we have already modeled here so these are the reward functions correctness in end we have strict reward and you can see all those reward functions here and then we can just start up the training process so this goes on and on and it starts the training process completes it and then we can see that let's look at the inference uh, first we try the model without the gpr train then we ask the question of uh, calculate pi and you can see the calculating pi using the monte carlo method the monte carlo method is a computational algorithm so it doesn't have that thinking process in built in it next we save uh, the lora that we have made save the model and then we run the model again but this time the new trained model and you can see that even with just 25 iterations it is able to correctly at least start with reasoning at least end with reasoning here okay so the at least end with answer here so you can see that we have converted our model into this beautiful reasoning model. So this is the power of Unsloth and it's so easy. So after you have this model, you can download this model, convert into or save it as a Llama CPP or TensorFlow, or you can convert to GGUF. After you convert to GGUF, you can upload it to Hugging Face or after using, after converting to GGUF, you can convert that to Olama version as well. If you're a little confused over how to do those changes, I'm going to create a new video uh, that will help you achieve that. But ultimately, there are different formats. You can take uh, Llama CPP, we can take GGUF, you can go and put in Olama as well. Now, if this is clear, we can go now to a different model, for example, 5.4, and start doing this. Now, 5.4 is a 14 billion parameter model and this won't fit here so we need to use cloud gpus or if your local system is powerful enough you can go ahead and try on 5.4 but as you can see for running just for 25 number of steps this really works and this is the power of reasoning models you know it is the power of unsloth and it's so easy to get a reasoning model now, after you create a model, you can upload it on Olama models and 
make it ready for other people to use so i can go to olama here and i can go to your login here click on my models and in the my models you can actually add your models here so for example i have added this um, like 11 months ago and you can see that people are using this model so as such you can put your models too and i would be really happy to see what kind of models that you make so if you have any questions please feel free to put in the comment section and uh, i will be back with more interesting videos watch out the next video and i will see you next time happy prompting thank you